Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the seedlings that are 23 days from seed and we'll be doing some training on them and then we'll take a look at the other plants too and see how they're all doing. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the seedlings that we transplanted last week. Okay guys, so there they are there. They're all doing pretty well. Uh, we have the early mess here. This one is staying, she's staying pretty short and bushy. Um, we will have to get in here and defoliate some because she's blocking a lot of sites there. So we'll have to defoliate this one at least. Uh, and then the Skittles autoflower and the PK. I think I will LST both of those and see how they look after that. And also we have the bush here. This is the Skittles. Now she's seven weeks from seed. So last week she was in pre-flower, she was shooting out some hairs and uh, I knew it wasn't going to be too long and sure enough she uh, is starting to throw out more hairs and bunching them up. So she is officially in flower. So uh, really, really dense bush though. So I am going to have to get in here and clean a lot of that out. Anyway, let's put you guys up on the tripod and we'll get at these little guys, little girls and uh, See what we can do with them to increase harvest. Okay guys, so we'll do this one first. This is the Skittles. So you know, she's got a little bit of height to her. Now the, the leaves have a couple of dark spots down here on this one and also on this one. Now I remember when I first started growing and I would freak out. It's like, oh my god, there's a spot. There's something wrong. It's going to die. But I normally don't even worry about it at this stage. Um, now, if that continues on and you have spots on these leaves and these leaves and these leaves, then you really have to start figuring out what's going on. But uh, this could be just after I had transplanted. Maybe I fed it a little bit too strong one day or something and it, did, it, it reacted that way. But not a big deal uh, as long as it doesn't continue on. So just have to basically keep an eye on it. So with this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, give it a little squeeze here on the stem and bend it towards you guys. So before we do that, uh, I do want to anchor her down as I always do. Now the reason I do this is because I did once I pulled a plant down and the whole root ball came right up out of the ground. So, so this just prevents that from happening. Now these pots that I'm using here. Uh, the three gallon fabric pots now these are awesome because they have the little ringlet holes in them so now as long as you're in the right place should be fine I might still have to put a hole or two in it but um, we'll see how that works out but anyway I do like the idea of the ringlets so I'm just gonna come right around this the base of the plant here now I can put I can bring the other half right through the same eyelet actually so that's kind of cool right through there and then just give it a give it a little twist okay so that just anchors the the base of the stock there so it doesn't pull out of the ground all right so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna come up about two nodes on this one And I'm just going to give her a little squeeze because she doesn't really want to bend there super easy. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze. She's quite young, so it's fairly soft, but still got a little bit of structural integrity there. That Just want to soften it up just a little bit. Don't want to bend it over and then have her snap. All right, so there we go. We're gonna come right down about 90 degrees there. Okay, so now we got another ringlet hole here. We're just gonna tie onto that. And we're gonna bring it around right there. And cinch it down a little bit so she's nice and flat. Now I don't have to, it doesn't take much so we don't have to worry about twisting that or tying that or anything now we got this leaf down here that's on the ground we can just bring that out for now 
and set it on the side of the pot. At least it's not down into the soil. I can take the excess of this this pipe cleaner here and just kind of hook onto that a little bit too just to kind of hold that down there. Now I do want to bring these two let's see here now I do want to bring these two down here a little ways so I will do that I will just uh, throw that there and just come around it a little bit there I didn't bring it down much but just enough to get the process started as it grows out I'll keep pulling it this way this one's already coming down this way anyway as it is so I don't really need to do that but next week I'll come back and uh, as these side shoots start growing out I will pull them down now this leaf this leaf here is gonna go because it's blocking a lot of bud sites that's gonna go this one I'm just gonna tuck under here and I'll just kind of tuck this one down just a hair and uh, yeah so we'll just let it go for there from there and come back next week now through the week I will be strategically pulling these down as they go and this will pop up here and uh, yeah so basically just open it up to the so the light can get down there at everything and uh, the air movement can get down at everything also so so that's it for this one just a really quick just uh, three ties and we're done for that one okay guys so here's the PK uh, this one we're gonna do pretty much the same thing as we did to the last one so uh, we'll just quickly come in here and do her up so we're gonna go that way with her now there's no no ringlet there so just pop a hole in there it's really thin easy to put a hole through but it's I can pull up on that pretty good and and uh, still seems sturdy all right so we're just gonna take that just to secure the base okay and we're gonna come this way here so I'm gonna just get that ready all right again we're gonna come up about two nodes I think give it a bit of a squeeze right over okay put a little bend there okay so there she is so what we'll do here want her down actually just a little bit more there we go okay so I'm gonna pop off this leaf up here and what do we got here okay I think I'll pull down this little guy here Put a little bend in it good enough and then this one probably don't need to pull it down at this point but I'm just gonna put that around it so next time when I come back and check I can just move that up as she grows out okay I'm gonna pull off this leaf here 
because it's blocking down here and I want those to grow out to become main branches. Now the bottom branches, your first bottom branches are the ones that when you LSD and do this kind of training, they're going to grow up to be some of the biggest colas, the bottom ones. And in my experience, that's the way it works. So I really want to get these ones grown out a bit and uh, pull them out. So I'm not going to do too much on this one either today. Um, I'm going to let her grow out now that she's laid down. We can get all that light in there and it should just blow up within the next few days. And that'll give us more to grab a hold on and uh, be able to tie down. All right, I will go grab the last one, the early miss. Okay, so last one, early miss. Now this one, last time after we transplanted, we did take off a couple leaves. We took off four actually, because she had grown out four branches out of the same node, which was kind of neat. So uh, anyway, she seems to have gone back to normal now, but we still have all these little bud sites down here that are not getting any light. So now she's not very tall and she's very bushy at the bottom. So this is, this one I'm not going to LST. I don't think that's the best thing for this one. I think basically what I'm just going to do with this is I will do a little bit of uh, selective defoliation. Let the light down at these bottom branches and these bottom nodes under here. Let them grow out. Like we got, this is a good size one here and the one on the other side. But these ones here are all blocked off from the light. So... Uh, if we pull off these couple of leaves here, which we'll do right now. So we got one on that side. One on this side. Now just those two opened it up really well. So now I don't want to take off the very top leaves here. Because I don't want it to slow its, its vertical growth because it's still pretty short. So I think what I will do with this for now is uh, just to be able to let more light down in there without taking them leaves off. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a little piece of pipe cleaner. I'm gonna come around here at the top. Now I'm gonna twist that together to make just a small loop there. Okay, and then I'm just going to Bring that up. So just like a little ponytail. Now what that does is it just lets more light down in there. Now I'll leave this for probably six hours and I'll take it off for the next six and then, and then I'll just do that for the next few days. Now I am gonna take off just a couple little, couple of little, little leaves here. Not very many, just a couple. I'm gonna take this one off. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do with that, with this girl today. Now we'll, we'll keep doing this ponytail uh, for two or three days or longer if need be. And then next week we'll see what we have to work with, whether we wanna pull stuff down or not, or I don't know, maybe we'll wanna just top each, each uh, bud site who knows so we'll, that'll be it for this one for now so we didn't do a whole lot of training on any of them but the little bit that we did do can make a huge difference in the final harvest okay guys so here we have the the big bush and this is the skittles at i think it's seven weeks old now and uh, she is almost a week into flower stacking up Stacking up quite nice, actually. Now, we got tons and tons of buds here, uh, top buds and, and bud sites. I really need to get more light down inside and more air movement down inside. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is, first of all, I am going to take off some leaves around the bottom uh, to make it easier for watering. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge trying to get everything to get the watering can down in there so i will take off a few around the bottom here and uh we'll just spin this around a little bit 
Okay. So now these are mostly the bigger ones too, because these are quite quite old. These were some of the first ones on the plant, so and there are some of the first ones off too now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is we did LST this a few weeks back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get underneath here and I want to look to see where I tied it down and see if we can actually spread it apart a little bit more. So we'll start from right here. So we've got a few branches here that we've tied down. So if I take off the tie from where it was, so we got the tie here now, bring it up higher on the plant, right, right in here. So we're bringing it up just a little bit higher and we're gonna just gently, very gently, pull her out just a little bit. Now it's not making a huge difference, but it is making some difference so so it did pull it out did make a bit of a gap here okay so now we'll come over here we have okay so we have in here we have a tie here we're gonna unhook that from around the branch that it's on okay and we're just gonna come up the branch a little ways and put it right around there okay so now we're just gonna again we're just gonna gently just pull that down just a little bit okay there again it wasn't a whole lot but it did open up a gap here Okay, so in here we got the same thing. We got this one, which is barely even holding on to where it was. And again, we're going to go just a bit higher on that stem. And gently just pull it down just, just a little bit. Good enough. Okay. Now this here is the main top here. So I don't think... We'll try pulling that just a little bit. It's not gonna move much without moving the whole plant though. So we'll just move it up a little bit on the branch and just see what happens if we just pull that down just a bit. All right. Now that might have opened it just a hair there. Okay. Now I'm going to add another pipe cleaner here. And go right in here. So I have a branch right here, this one, which wasn't tied down before. And we are going to tie that down right now. Okay, just a bit. Okay. So again, we opened a spot right in here. And the next one. Now, that wasn't a very big branch, so that didn't do a whole lot. There, I think. I think that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do for that. Okay, so just by pulling them out, we have some gaps here now that more light can penetrate down into the canopy and uh, 
a little gap here and here so it's not a lot but it all helps so now when we look at this plant these branches are not very thick there's so many of them uh, this one's a little thicker this one's a little bit thicker but uh, most of these are just very spindly so what I want to do is I want to get down in here and I want to kind of just clean out in here a little bit so that we can let the light down and and also any little tiny bud sites down there that aren't going to get the light we're going to take them right off now this is going to take a little while so uh i'll just throw a little bit of music on here for you Okay guys, so that's all I'm gonna do for that one today. Now I could take a I could take a whole lot out. Like there's lots of there's just so many little branches there, but they're all little branches, so you kinda have to pick and choose which ones you want to take out to benefit the other ones. So 
anyway i'll bring you in closer here to see what it looks like okay so we've opened it up quite a bit there you can see down through the plant now so both those things helped out uh pulling it pulling it open a little bit more a little more uh, lst and then the defoliation and uh, picking off some of the smaller bud sites so i'll put this back in the tent okay so there's everybody after their training we lst'd the purple kush and the and the skittles and we defoliated and ponytailed the early miss for now and then we cleaned out this bush now there's a lot more light and air movement that can get through there it's very easy to see through it right now so uh this has a couple more weeks of stretch to do and then she should start thickening up some of those buds there is a ton of bud sites here let's go check out the big tent okay so here we are this is the grow that uh, we started in the auto pots and we're finishing them in trays now they're all looking they're all looking better than what they were for sure even these back ones uh, we can see now they actually got some green on them instead of yellow um, so they are coming back pretty good now the thing is they're almost done anyway at this point so I checked these guys this morning and uh, yeah they were all cloudy with just a touch of amber there so she, I could pretty much take her down today but I think I am going to wait until next week but uh, yeah just about done super frosty here like these are just amazing and the green crack back there is that's some nice big nugs on it too and these are I don't even want to touch that but that is dense that is super dense and the other green crack there now the the Bruce banners we have this one and this one over here they're just about done too uh, I checked them also and they're pretty much the same as the green cracks they're all cloudy with uh, just a touch of amber there so um, yeah I might even do this halfway through the week chop, chop some of these down looking really good let's check out the frost on these, this one this is the Bruce banner these are all from I love growing marijuana.com I would like to see I, I do want to grow them again um, without having any issues to see what I could get out of them because I mean these guys had issues right from the start but uh, they still still doing really well this one here actually is so top heavy she almost fell over the other day the floor has a bit of a lean to it and uh yeah i turned around and i caught it just as it was starting to go so i ended up having to put a couple of uh, bamboo stakes in there just to pull her back up and straighten her out and then i used just a little piece of bamboo underneath the corner of this pot this side of the pot and uh just to hold it up straighter it's really nice buds there smells amazing in here and over here in the web we have the blue dream she is i believe five weeks into flower now between four and five weeks into flower so she's got uh she's got another at least four weeks left so buds are starting to fatten up a little bit now and uh she's looking really good so should be pretty good harvest just out of that one in the web so and speaking of the web we're at not quite 46,000 now so uh, another 4,000 to go and uh, we'll be giving away one of these webs so stay tuned for that so and if anybody wants to check out some of the gear that I use uh, you can check the description for I have links down there for some of the stuff and uh, I have a Mars Hydro link of course for if you want the FC 4800 or the TSW 2000s or even the TS 1000 if you have a uh, a smaller grow area that you need a nice light for so okay guys so uh, next week we will be harvesting uh, I'm pretty sure all of these will be ready so we'll be harvesting all of them and uh, so that's pretty exciting I like the harvest videos 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.